Today we're going to break down the InShot interface so you know exactly what you're looking at when you start a project. First, open the InShot app and tap on video. Select any video clip from your gallery and tap the green check mark to load it into the editor. Now, let's look at the layout. At the bottom, you'll see the timeline. This is where all your clips sit and it's where the magic happens. You can tap on clips to trim, cut or rearrange them. Right above the timeline, you've got the toolbar. This is packed with editing tools like canvas, music, stickers, text, filters, PIP and more. We'll explore each of these in upcoming tutorials, but feel free to tap around and explore. Nothing you do here is permanent unless you export. At the top of the toolbar, you've got the undo and redo buttons. In case you make a mistake, you'll also see a play button in the preview window to watch your edits in real time. And finally, once you're done editing, just tap the export button in the top right corner to save your video in the quality you want. And that's it. Now you know your way around the InShot interface. In the next video, we'll get hands on with trimming and cutting clips to shape your story. If this tutorial helped, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more beginner friendly InShot tutorials.